Help support the companies that support our community. I'm really excited to announce a new wire burning kit from Easywood Tools and myself. Let me get the box open and I'll show you what's in there and what makes this different from the other kits out there. So here's what you get in the kit. You get the maple handles. These have a quick release on them. These are threaded into there with a grommet. The grommet's uh, epoxied in and that's threaded in. And then these are threaded into it. So it's not just the, the steel threaded into the wood. It's super high quality steel. We've been working on these for a while now, getting them all dialed in, making sure everything was perfect. And what makes these different from the other kits out there is this right here. So that's how you change wires change gauges is just like that if you you only need one set of handles if you break a wire you only replace that gauge you don't have to replace the whole set if you break one of the 18 inch ones you don't have to buy a whole set of those so they just come on and off just like that and what they have here is they're all color coded. So we have the blue one and those are the biggest ones and that's 0.026 and then the white ones is the next one and it's 0.020 and then the red is 0.016. So smaller ones for things like pins, small handles like this, little larger things, maybe some small bowls on the nine inch ones and then the, the 18 inch ones, those are for platters and larger bowls. Let's go over to the lathe and I will show you how it works. These little things are great for doing a little detail on things like a tool handle or a pin or a, a utensil handle. So you just take the, the tip of the detailer there just so it has something to write on. And we'll do three of them, one for each thickness. Do the blue one first. Turn the lathe on, hold the handles like that. Right, right in that groove. Pull these off of here. I'd let them probably cool down a little bit, depending on what you're doing, but they get pretty hot. We'll do the, I think the white one next. There, it's the thicker one. Then we'll move on to the red one. That right when it starts to smoke like that, then it's pretty much done. Depending on you know how how much you want it to burn, but it, it burns pretty pretty quick, and they just pop off like that. Next one goes on. Then you can see the different thicknesses of the wire here. So when you're you're doing the with the detailer, putting that little groove in there, just just barely touch it. It doesn't need much to, to ride on, just a little bit of a groove. So what I'd normally do is sand it up to, oh, maybe, maybe uh, 240 or 320, do a groove like this, and then finish sanding with four and 600 and to get rid of the little burrs from the, from the groove. But just like that, and there's the three thicknesses there. Let me got, grab a bowl and I'll show you what the longer ones for doing detail around uh, like the rim of a bowl. This is an acacia bowl I'm working on. Uh, my buddy in Phoenix, Alex, gave me this piece of wood. It's just beautiful. So same thing with that. I just touched it with the, the tip of the detailer here. So it has something to write in. These are the 18 inch ones. That's just a couple examples of things you can do with the wire burners and like I mentioned before, pins and tool handles and all sorts of stuff like that. I will put a link down below in the description where you can get these and they will be in retail stores, woodworking retail stores very soon. And I know what you've been, you've been eyeballing that thing on the lathe the whole time, right? And yes, it's a bowling ball. That video will be out in a couple of days. The blue one on there, it used to be a bowling ball. I love yard sales. All right, till next time, take care.